Good evening. Thanks for joining us tonight. We are officially one week away from the start of the Minnesota State Fair. Over the 12 day run, around 2 million people will walk through those gates. And keeping all those fairgoers safe is a huge task. The man in charge of it all is State Fair Police Chief Ron Nafla. Jennifer Hoff talked to him today about the new security measures in place this year. Preparations are underway for Minnesota's great get together where food is always top of mind. The world's changed, right? Ask we State Fair try. Police Chief Ron Nafla, though, and so too is safety. So this is the new normal for us, unfortunately, but it is still people coming out here to have fun. <laughs> Security has been a roller coaster after his department disbanded and staffing was short. The fair even ending early last year due to violence. We're not going to tolerate any any nonsense and we're going to deal with it appropriately. Multiple agencies patrol the fair that this year include DNR conservation officers for the first time, along with another 170 state fair police officers from departments across the state, some 40 more than last year that NAFLA calls a recruitment success. Do you feel you need 40 more officers? I'll take as many officers as I can get out here because our top priority is providing safety and security for this. Fairgoers can also expect metal detectors, bag checks and more police Police patrolling the perimeter, but don't plan to smoke pot here, despite it becoming legal this month. Our approach is going to be using it as an educational tool. We're hoping we'll get compliance just by having a conversation with people. With one week to go, security may be serious. What's your favorite food? Ooh, good one. But 35 years on the force, and NAFLA still knows how to have fun. I'm a pork chop on a stick guy, corn dog or prano pups. I'm a pickle on a stick. Oh. So. Well, as long as it's not on pizza. A favorite time of the year that for him hits close to home. And I would not ask my parents or my kids to come to the fair if it wasn't safe. Another layer of safety here across the state fairgrounds are more security cameras. The chief, though, not revealing exactly where they'll be placed. At the state fair, Jennifer Hoff, CARE 11 News.